Mastery of the skies doesn't come cheap. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is a highly diversified fifth-generation tactical aircraft. But for $20 billion, you'd hope to come close. Back when the RAAF signed on to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program in 2002, the jet's makers dubbed it Lightning, promising it would revolutionise air combat and secure Australia's defence needs for decades. The F-35 displays its lethal spectrum of air superiority as the next generation fighter for America and its allies. But now an early review is in and the JSF has been shot down. If Australia goes ahead with the Joint Strike Fighter purchase, the RAAF will be ineffective for the next 30 to 40 years. The RAND Corporation in the United States prepared an analysis of the JSF's ability to match rival Russian and Chinese jets in close-range combat. The results were damning. The report says the JSF is... Double inferior relative to modern Russian-Chinese fighter designs in visual range combat. And has... Inferior acceleration, inferior climb, inferior sustained turn capability. It concludes that the JSF... Can't turn, can't climb, can't run. I think it's, uh, it, it's very damning. It makes very clear that uh, in comparison to the Sukhoi, the, um, within visual range combat, the, to use their terminology, the JSF is doubly inferior. The RAND analysis was prepared before a simulated war game exercise called Pacific Vision that was held at a Hawaiian airbase in August. Five Australian defence personnel took part in the exercise. Now there are suggestions that the results of those war games are just as scathing of the Joint Strike Fighter. In the mock battle, the JSF, F-22 and Super Hornets were dubbed the Blue Team and had to defend an attack by a Red Team made up of Russian-built Sukhoi fighters. The results are classified, but Lateline has obtained an email from a former RAAF flight test engineer who says he has been briefed on the exercise. In late August, Peter Goon, who is in regular correspondence with Defence, wrote to the head of the Defence Material Organisation, Dr Steve Gumley, and the Defence Minister, saying that the results of Pacific Vision were disastrous for the JSF. Red Force dominated the exercise going up against two versions of Blue Force, both of which were roundly defeated. One way the Red Force summation of events has been described is that it was like clubbing baby seals. In addition to this rather blunt Red Force summation, the wargaming exercise demonstrated the JSF aircraft were next to useless, while the Super Hornets of both Blue Forces were seriously and significantly overmatched, a.k.a. useless. Hundreds of Blue Force aircraft were lost in the first 20 minutes. Liberal backbencher Dr Dennis Jensen says the email warning is credible. Yes, I, I, I think it is. I, um, I mean, uh, certainly from the results that I've heard from the specific vision exercise, uh, bore out very much the analysis that Rand Corporation had in their pre-brief. But a leading defence analyst is not convinced by the email and says the Pacific Vision exercise wasn't about comparing the two jets. I don't think um, it's credible that the JSF came up as badly as, as some rumours are having it in this exercise. Andrew Davies says he's seen unclassified simulations from the plane's manufacturer, Lockheed Martin. It, it was shown that the JSF would, in the majority of cases, defeat an aircraft like a Sukhoi, um, well beyond visual range. He says the constant sniping at the JSF project is causing frustration in Air Force ranks. Connor Duffy, Lakeline.